I go into messaging, I have various options here and I want to go to voice management. Under voice management, this is the voicemail settings for the user. Typically voicemail is turned on and you're sending busy calls and unanswered calls to voicemail. Busy calls are calls that are, uh, have the do not disturb turned on. When you turn on do not disturb on the phone, the phone is considered busy and the calls go straight to voicemail. Busy is never a busy signal in our system. Busy means the user is busy and the phone's on do not disturb. Unanswered calls are the calls that ring and don't get answered. And that's also calls that ring and don't get answered when you're on the phone. If you have a, a call, you're talking to someone and you receive a second call, you can't answer it because the phones all have call waiting. If you don't answer it, it's considered an unanswered call. It goes into voicemail and they hear the unanswered call message. When a message arrives, we're going to use unified messaging and we're going to use the phone message waiting indicator. That's the blinking red light on the top of the phone. Sometimes people don't like that. You can turn it off, you can turn it on for them. When you use unified messaging, we want to skip down to these additional options. Additionally, you could turn on notify me by email of a message. You could turn on email a carbon copy. And these work a little uh, differently, but they do kind of the same thing. If I turn on notify me by email of a message, you can put in a user's email address and it's going to send them a message to their email saying, hey, Alice, go check your voicemail. You've got a voicemail message. But it's just a notification. If I were to put that in under the email me a carbon copy, the carbon copy is going to send out a message to Alice, and it's going to have a carbon copy of the voicemail message attached to it as a sound file, as a WAV file. So Alice can listen to that message on her computer. She could listen to it if she has access to her uh, voicemail. She can access that message via her email if she can get her email on her mobile phone. So there's various different places you can get that message. It is a carbon copy, and that carbon copy, it's very important that the user goes back to the phone and deletes the message off the phone. Otherwise, the phone could fill up because you have a limited capacity mailbox. They're typically 60 minutes long. It'll hold 60 minutes worth of messages. The email carbon copy is an email copy. It's not connected to the voicemail. If you delete the message on the phone, it has no effect on the email. If you delete the message in the email, it has no effect on the phone. So they're separate. They're like a real-world carbon copy. You could also, if you'd like, change it from unified messaging to forward to this email address. And if I use the forward and put an email address in there, that will skip the phone completely. It'll never end up in the voicemail box on the phone. It'll skip the phone and go straight to the email address only. So the user does not have to check two different places to get one message. I like that method. I think it's very handy. I would also be aware of using that message if you were, say, uh, in a situation where you needed to get absolute reliability. I would get them in both places, just in case your emails bounced or your emails get maybe filtered as spam for some reason. You want to be sure to get them, so get them in both places. Uh, if not, if you can afford to, you know, take a take a small small risk, you could forward that message and get them just to your email. And at the very bottom here, there's an option, transfer on zero to phone number. If I were to put in a phone number here, I could send my calls out to that phone number. When a person called in, they would hear, hi, thanks for calling. I can't take your call as my message. Uh, if you'd like to leave a message, please do. If not, press zero to reach customer care or some other phone number. So you could put in a phone number there. I'm not going to change any of these settings. I'm going to hit cancel, but if you did change things, you would be able to hit OK or apply, and you're all set.